Hey everyone, this is Dana, and in this screencast, I'm going to talk about three reading strategies previewing, skimming, and scanning. This will help you become a more efficient reader. That is, you're going to understand the content better and you're going to read faster. All right, so let's start with previewing. So, previewing means looking at the title, looking at pictures and captions. If you have um, tables or graphs or anything like that, look at those as well. If you have headings, um, that's a good way to see the structure of the content. In this article, we don't have headings, uh, but in most longer ones, you would probably have that as well. Uh, so let's see, what do we get from here? Um, majority of us undergraduates are non-traditional so we already know that this is going to be about college students now here you might ask yourself what does non-traditional mean um i guess we're going to find out from the article and we have a clue here in the photo because we see this guy that is older he doesn't look like most college students right and if you read the caption 70-year-old college student Charles Buckley sits in front of his textbooks at home, right? So this might give you a clue that a non-traditional student is a, probably an older student. You can also have a look at the first sentence. There is a commonly held belief in the United States about the best path to college education. So again, uh, more about this idea of what is the normal way to have a college education? And then you might look at um, possibly like how long, how long the, the text is. Now let's move on to skimming. So in skimming, what you do is go over large chunks of text very quickly. So you start in the beginning and just look really quickly so you can get the main ideas. So what you do is you don't read every word, you just read maybe uh, a few words from each paragraph, usually maybe the first sentence. Um, so let's see, what do we get from here? Um, it's about graduating from high school, the age, and then Carrie Dwyer is an example. So we have a bit more about the student. Um, what else? Australian University is a for-profit college. And they created a survey and they found out many students are non-traditional. What does that mean? Um, okay, um, another person from this university is giving some more information. Let's see, over the last two, five years, we've had a more challenging labor market. Um, Okay, another uh, another student and her experiences. What are some differences with a normal education? Uh, well, a traditional education. And some more about how to treat how to treat uh, non-traditional students. It's always a good idea to approach a text by previewing and skimming first. Uh, after you've done these two things, you can now read it more thoroughly or you can just look for the parts that are interesting for you or relevant for you, or you can search for more specific information. Um, if you want to do this last thing, search for specific information, then you might want to use the third strategy, which is scanning. Okay, so let's talk about scanning now. So scanning means you are moving your eyes, you are really sweeping your eyes over the text, just looking for something very specific. So you might be looking for some numbers or you might be looking for a name, you might be looking for a definition, you might be looking for the answer to a test question. Um, it's, so scanning is different than skimming. So remember when you skim, you look for the main ideas from the whole text. Whereas in scanning, you're just looking for something really specific. So let's say I'm looking for the definition of non-traditional uh, student. And I remember seeing this when I was skimming. Let's see, so I look non-traditional, non-traditional. Okay, here it is. What does non-traditional mean? Okay. And here we have identifies non-traditional college students in several ways. 
right? So you have a few things that define a non-traditional student. Or say you're writing a report or a paper and you're interested in, interested in um, the study results. So you look for the numbers. In fact, here the study findings show that 70% of the students questioned were non-traditional. Um, you also find how many students participated and also um, the name of the survey. All right, so we talked about previewing, uh, skimming, and scanning, which are all good strategies to use to in order to read more effectively. So remember, preview and skim before uh, reading a text and use scanning in order to find very specific information. Thanks.